in the featherweight division at UFC 295, the first fight of the night, kicking things off. Dennis Buzuka comes in at 11 and 3, takes on Jamal Embers, who comes in at 19 and 7. Now, Embers is one inch taller at 5'10. He's 34 years old. Buzuka, 26. So one guy entering his prime, the other guy slowly leaving his prime. Embers stands right handed. Dennis, switch stance fighter. Embers with uh, a few more UFC fights, right? He's got 26 total fights in MMA. He lands like five significant strikes per minute. He's more active than Dennis Bazooka, who lands about 3.3 significant strikes per minute. Also, Embers, two takedowns on average per three rounds. Dennis Bazooka, just one. So, so far, everything favors Jamal Embers. Now, uh, Embers' opponent has a 73% takedown defense, but he's lost two out of three fights here. Uh, so far, he's one and one in the contender series. Lost the first one, came back and beat uh, Romero by decision, but then came into the UFC and lost to Sean Woodson, uh, pretty bad. Gave up four takedowns to none, 71 42 uh, in significant strikes, but he did go to a decision, which is not a bad day really uh, against a guy like that. Now, Emmers, on the other hand, 90% takedown defense. That's huge. Lost to Jack Jenkins, probably should by split decision. He did beat uh, Ashabov by decision, 62 to 30 in significant strikes, one takedown to none. Lost to Pat Sabatini pretty quickly, right? You'd expect that. Pat Sabatini is for real. He's on this card as well. Uh, That came by heel hook submission in about a minute, 53 seconds. He did beat Vince Cachero before that. So, you know, he's beating some people. He's losing the guys. They probably should. Um, But he's definitely better than his opponent in this fight. This is why he's nearly a three to one favorite. You know, when I see those odds, as I'm looking through the prediction, I look for an angle to say, will someone miss something? Um, and in this case, they didn't. Jamal Emers is just a better fighter. He is 34. He's still, you know, a guy's going down from his prime at 34 slightly, but he's still right there at the top uh, of his prime, really. But he's just slightly going down. So, he, you know, he lands more takedowns than his opponent. He outstrikes him uh, by like a significant strike and a half per minute. So that's what, 22 to 25 per fight. So, you know, Jamal Emmer should win this thing pretty easily. And congrats to him if he does, because in my opinion, he wins and gets his 20th victory in MMA here in the featherweight division, UFC 295.